Good afternoon, friends. Important judgment on the important burning topic in GST. Time limit to avail input tax credit as per section 16, subsection 4 of CGST Act. Lot of judgment are coming against the taxpayer. Starting with AP High Court judgment. Thirumalakonda Plyut, followed by Patna High Court, Govinda Construction. Recently, Calcutta High Court has also given judgment against the taxpayer BBA Infrastructure Limited. And now, Chhattisgarh High Court in the case of Jain Brothers. They are saying Section 16, Subsection 4 is constitutionally valid. Correct. So, because of time limit to avail credit, lot of dispute in the trade parlance. What is this section 16, subsection 4? Important. Section 16, subsection 4 of CGST Act says any registered person who wants to avail credit, he must avail the credit earliest of two dates. Due date of furnishing return under section 39, which is GSTR 3B, for the month of September, following the end of relevant financial year. So, by default, it is, it is 20th October, B October, or date of furnishing annual return, which is 31st December, whichever is earlier. Now, this provision got amended from 1st October 2022. Now, they are saying earliest of 30th November, they have done away, they have amended, they have omitted due date of furnishing return under section 39 for the month of September. They have done away with. So, now they are saying 30th November. Or date of furnishing annual return which is 31st December whichever is earlier so this is the provision adjourned date and constitutionally it is being challenged in different different high court and all the judgment are coming against so this video is very very important for all of us to watch and listen carefully I am picking up clue from that AP High Court which is commonly applicable for all these four judgments which I am referring to AP High Court, Thirumalakunda, Plyut, Patna High Court, Govinda Construction, Calcutta High Court, BBA Infrastructure Limited and Chhattisgarh High Court, Jain Brothers, Common Threat Watch. Petitioner has filed GSTR 3B, which was belated one, beyond the due date specified. Let's take an example, which is the instant example in the AP High Court judgment. Petitioner filed his GSTR 3B for the month of March 2020, which is due by 20th October 2020 pertaining to financial year 1920. 19 20 March 2020 3B Bharna 20 October 20th October 2020 ko. But this petitioner filed 3B on 27th November 2020. So there was delay beyond the time limit credit was denied because it was beyond time limit as per section 16 subsection 4 this is common threat common uh, factual position in all the four high court judgment and petition was filed to challenge constitutional validity of section 16 subsection 4 listen very carefully what happened this was a challenge on a ground first 
that section 16 subsection 2 start with non obstinity clause and it is overriding section 16 subsection 4 so what is this point first point if you look at section 16 subsection 1 it is eligibility condition eligibility for registered person to avail credit those who are registered person yani section 16 subsection 1 ye kehta hai ki agar aap registered person hai gst mein to aapko credit milegi subject to certain condition restriction in a manner as prescribed section 16 subsection 2 putting a restriction clause and in continuation of section 16 subsection 1 so what is section 16 subsection 2 which is starting with the non obstinacy clause notwithstanding anything contained in this section so it is being pleaded by the petitioner that this is overriding section 16 subsection 4 so what this uh, subsection 16 says notwithstanding anything contained in this section no registered person shall take credit unless satisfy the following conditions what are the following condition you as a buyer recipient should have tax invoice copy which you are having you must have received goods or services which you have received also your supplier must have paid taxes yes supplier has also paid the taxes and fourth being recipient you are regularly filing gst return gstr 3b under section 39 regularly so you are satisfying all four conditions only problem you could not file your 3b by due date it was belated one thereby department alleging this credit is not available because it is beyond the time limit specified under section 16 subsection 4 so first point which is being put up before honorable court that section 16 subsection 2 is overriding section 16 subsection 4 thereby time limit condition is not applicable unne kaha section 16 subsection 2 non obstinacy clause se start hota hai notwithstanding anything contained in the section thereby time limit ki jo condition hai section 16 subsection 4 applicable nahi hogi ये जो common point है, the analysis of section 16 subsection 2 versus section 16 subsection 4 commonly discussed and judgment is talking about these are into two different context. Section 16 subsection 2 is coming out with reference to section 16 subsection 1, meaning thereby आप registered है, you are entitled to avail credit but you should satisfy this condition so it is with reference to section 16 subsection 1 and section 16 subsection 4 is independent of and not contradicting thereby apart from satisfying the condition under section 16 subsection 2 you must satisfy section 16 subsection 4 time limit conditions also this is what the judgment coming out so the discussion of section 16 subsection 2 and section 16 subsection 4 are in different context so section 16 subsection 2 is not overriding section 16 subsection 4 first point second point and when I'm discussing second point, let me first, uh, you know, take up one of the common, uh, you know, important point which was taken up before Honorable Calcutta High Court. Petitioners say that I'm availing credit 
through my books of account and I have availed the credit through my books of account. Credit was availed within time. Only 3B got delayed. GSTR 3B got delayed, belated one. There is no provision in the GST law that I must avail credit through GSTR 3B. I have availed the credit in my books of account within time. So this credit should be available. This was not appreciated by Honorable Calcutta High Court in the case of BBA Infrastructure Limited. So this is the first point. Second point. Sometimes government allows that you can file your 3B billeted with late fees. Billeted with late fees. Does it mean that it is exonerating your time limit for availing credit in GST law? We have GST. Some of late fees ke saath, government aapse kehti hai ke aap apna 3B billeted late fees फाइल कर सकते हैं लेट फीस देनी पड़ेगी आपको तो क्या इसका मतलब यह है कि मेरी टाइम लिमिट भी बढ़ गई एग्जांपल ले लीजिए सेम एग्जांपल जो मैं आपसे डिस्कस कर रहा था इट वाज मार्च 2020 जीएसटी या 3B सपोज टू बी फाइल्ड बाय 20th अक्टूबर 2020 एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ कोरोना ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम पीरियड यू मस्ट बी रिकॉलिंग Petitioner was allowed to file 3B with the late fees. So he did file his 3B belated with late fees on 27th November 2020. Does it mean that you have late fees ke saath jama kiya jo aapko allowed tha to wo aapki time limit ki condition ko bhi badha dega? No way. That is what the judgment says so. They are allowing you to file 3B with the late fees does not mean your time limit condition get extended. It is remain as it is under section 16 subsection 4 unless otherwise amended by way of notification. यानी लेट फीस के साथ अलाउ किया है तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि आपकी टाइम लिमिट बढ़ गई क्योंकि टाइम लिमिट की कंडीशन में कोई चेंज कोई प्रोविजन चेंज बाय वे ऑफ नोटिफिकेशन वाज नेवर डन सो यानी लेट फीस के साथ भी अगर आप फ्री भी भर रहे हैं डोंट एज्यूम कि आपकी टाइम लिमिट बढ़ गई सो सेकंड पॉइंट दिस वाज द रेज बाय पिटिशनर एंड हेल्ड अगेंस्ट द पिटिशनर Third point, violative of Article 14, right to equality, Article 19.1 G and Article 300 capital A. For this specific discussion and judgment is saying it is not violative of Article 14, Article 19.1 G and Article 300 capital A. What judgment says, it is saying that GST credit is a benefit or concession granted to the taxpayer. It is not his right. So he can't argue it is his vested right. Wo ye nahi bol sakta ki mere vested right hai. Unless otherwise he is satisfying the condition for availing credit on the date of availment of credit yani vested right ki jo hum baat karte hain article 300 capital a mein wo tab milegi jab aapne wo condition for availing credit aapne satisfy ki hai on the date of availment of credit so there was condition of time limit petitioner should have File 3B by due date, which is 20th October. He did not file. Thereby, this credit is not available. And it is not getting vested right argument. Aap is pe argument nahi kar sakte. It is only benefit or concession. 
अनलेस यू सेटिस्फाई द कंडीशन अगर कंडीशन सेटिस्फाई किया देन यू कैन ऑलवेज आर्ग्यू इट इज योर वेस्टेड राइट एज हैपन इन द केस ऑफ फिल्को ट्रेड सेंटर ट्रांजिशनल क्रेडिट यू मस्ट बी रिकॉर्डिंग दो जजमेंट प्री जीएसटी क्रेडिट अवेल्ड इन प्री जीएसटी रजीम सेटिस्फाइंग द कंडीशन ऑफ प्री जीएसटी रजीम क्राइटेरिया which was supposed to be transition in gst regime honorable supreme court has said you can't put new condition new rule new procedure for transition of pre gst credit into gst regime and thereby honorable supreme court has given the benefit in the filco trade center because it was vested right you have satisfied the condition in pre gst regime that is the region it is called vested right that is the region filco trade center judgment honorable supreme court has given benefit that department revenue department can't put additional condition or procedure for transition of this pre gst credit into gst regime this was the case so article 300 capital a going to be applicable only when you are satisfying the condition to avail credit on the date of availment of credit Chhattisgarh High Court is specifically saying that uh, it is not violative of Article 19.1G for simple reason. It is uh, right constitutional right given to a citizen, not to a proprietorship firm. Listen very carefully. This is what the judgment says. So that this right is available to a Indian citizen, not to a proprietorship firm. so he can't uh, you know look for relief under article 19 1g so having said these all judgment are saying that this time limit condition under section 16 sub section 4 is not violative of article 14 19 1g and article 300 capital a what is the way forward now this video is going to be important on this point so you would be looking for some answer some relief major whether this matter will go to supreme court what are the advantage we can draw out of it i'm going to tell you one of the judgment which is coming from uh, madras high court very recently it was not aptly on uh, constitutional validity but of course on uh, time limit because there was belated gstr 3b filed by the petitioner because he was having financial crunch his financial condition was not good that is the reason he could not file his gstr 3b so he filed belated to that extent department elise this credit is not available and you need to reverse this credit because you are not satisfying the condition of section 16 sub section 4 so there was not a question of constitutional validity but listen what happened in this case madras high court in the case of tbl cabin hp gas all all gas tbl cabin hp gas all these four five judgment which i have referred we have prepared the newsletter which is there in the description box which you can download in this case uh, petitioner argued before honorable madras high court first point melot gstr 3b is not the return document wherein i need to avail credit for me availing credit is gstr 2 as per section 38 of cgst act read with rule 60 of cgst rule 2017 important one and i'm putting my humble submission to all the viewers that this is one of the ground we can file we can you know argue before honorable supreme court when these matter will go up before the honorable supreme court we know that uh, for availing credit gstr 1 section 37 outward supply 
section 38 gstr 2 for availing credit rate with rule 60 gstr 3 initially for under section 39 which is now gstr 3b and with retrospective date rule 61 sub rule 5 effective from 9th October 2019 by notification number 49 of 2019 they have inserted 3B as a return under section 39 but debate was there with a 3B as a return under section 39 section 42 43 43A we all know that uh, this uh, ITC machinery provision automatic enabling provision for ITC credit matching and mismatching GSTR 2 and 3 never got implemented since beginning July 17 and they have said you are going to avail credit through GSTR 2 initially right you must be knowing that but 2 never got implemented and this section 38 completely substituted 42, 43, 43 all got omitted. So two-way communication, ITC matching provision, two-way communication all got omitted only from 1st October 2022. August 1st October 2022 se aapne sare provision omit kiye. So, yani purane period ke liye we can always argue ki credit agar mujhe leni thi to GSTR 2 se leni thi. Or 2 aapne kabhi implement kiya hi nahi. To aap argue nahi kar sakte ki 3B ke jariye mujhe credit avail karni padegi. This is one of the argument I am telling you would be important one before Honorable Supreme Court. Second point. Do we have any mechanism in GST law? That I am having financial crunch. Fund nahi hai mere paas. But I can file my GSTR 3B. With non-payment or short payment. Nahi hai mere paas enough cash. Am I 3B bhi nahi bhar pa raha. Jab 3B nahi bhar pa raha. To aap kehte hai ke 3B ke jariye credit le lo. They are saying you should avail credit through 3B. But I can't file 3B because I am having financial constraint. Financial crunch. Kya karu? Main 3B is liye nahi bhar pa raha ke mere paas fund nahi hai. Aap mujhe system GSTN portal mujhe allow karta ke without payment or non-payment short payment mein 3B bhar saku so that mein credit timely le saku. आपने मुझे विंडो नहीं दी। You have not given me this window on GSTN portal that with uh, non-payment or short payment I can file my 3B so that at least I can satisfy the time limit condition of section 16 subsection 4 for availing credit. Can't it be a matter of doctrine of impossibility? मैं तो लेना चाहता था। I wanted to avail credit. But you didn't give me the opportunity. Portal is not allowing me to file 3B with non-payment or short payment. Who would be held responsible? Third argument. Article 14, right to equality, right? Right to equality. Can't we say in our defense before the Honorable Supreme Court, Milot, there should be equal right to the taxpayer, right? So, they are different class, but we have to see. And I am creating one example for you that uh, same taxpayer are discriminated, discriminated for the region. Listen very carefully. Let's assume financial year 22-23. Start from April 22 to March 23. A last date to avail credit is 30th November, section 16, subsection 4. If your credit pertain to April 22, then you are getting longer time period to avail credit till 30th November 23, longer time period. 
And if your credit pertain to March 23, then you're getting shorter time period to avail credit till 30th November. So is it not the case of discrimination among, among the same class taxpayer? This provision is creating discrimination among the same class. Hence, we can always argue violative of Article 14 to the Constitution of India. Fourth point, last one. Unnecessarily prejudiced. Supplier has already paid the taxes. Since recipient buyer could not file 3B for the region cited, within time, you are denying the credit. Is it not unnecessarily prejudiced that on same transaction taxes are being paid to the government and because government did not implement the GSTR 2, even 3B without payment or short payment, why credit would be denied to the recipient? If credit is being denied to the recipient, it is termed as unnecessarily prejudiced. And this is my submission to all of you. I created all this summary for digest of section 16, subsection 4 of CGST Act. All the newsletter pertaining to the judgment referred in this video are given in a description box, which you may download for your EG digest. Stay tuned. Lot many on GST and we are trying our best to make GST good and simple tax for understanding purpose. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.